Hello guys, long time no see. In the last couple of weeks I got a lot of messages from you guys asking if I'm okay and that you're missing my videos. There's a reason why I haven't posted anything in the last two months and that is I needed a break. Time to figure out what to do. You see in the last couple of years I plan things often months in advance but right now that's almost impossible. There are a lot of things I'd like to do and a lot of places I'd like to visit but I simply can't. And to be honest Filming videos at home, just sitting in front of the camera and talking about gear, that's not a one for this channel. I much rather go outside exploring the streets and take you guys along. That is what I've been doing since I've started this channel and I like to keep it that way. Due to the challenges, there won't be a new How I Shoot series coming this year, which is very unfortunate. However, does it mean that there won't be any new street photography videos coming anytime soon? Well, absolutely not. There will be plenty of new videos coming and the first one will drop in a couple of days. However, I had to change things up a bit just to be more productive, but you'll see. Talking about productivity, together with a friend who gave me this Context D2 here, I started a weekly podcast, uh, but it's in German though. But if you're still interested, I will put the link below in this video. So the Context T2, it will be featured in a couple of videos and in there I will share my thoughts about this one here. And I also got a brand new lens that just got released and it's this one here. It's the Artisan and Artist 35 1.4 for a Leica M mount. It's an affordable 35 millimeter for Leica M and if the image quality is good, that might be a really good option. So. A video about this, uh, I think it will drop later this month. Another camera that I cannot wait to try out is this one here that my friend gave me. It's a Yashica. It's a rangefinder, it's really affordable and it's featuring a 45mm lens. It's not my focal length but if you are a 50mm shooter this might be a good option because it's really rather cheap. So you can have these I think for below 100 euros. Um, this one is a prist in pristine conditions. Condition. This might be a little bit more than 100 euros, but still, I mean, for a rangefinder, it's a pretty good deal. So hopefully I will be able to shoot this soon and give you my thoughts about it. A big thank you goes out to each and every one of you that bought one of my zines while I was away. Hopefully the zines have already arrived and I'm currently thinking about doing uh, another zine and that is the one I was teasing already. Um, it's the Korea and Japan project that I did a while ago. And these images, I really like them, they're really great and um, I can't wait to share this with you. But more on that a little bit later, maybe end of this month or at the beginning of next month. Alright guys, like I've mentioned before, the first new street photography video will be coming out very very soon. And also very soon there will be the video dropping that I filmed while on the while I was on this road trip slash uh, sailing boat trip. Maybe you remember I asked you in the last video before the break what kind of camera I should bring on the trip and what kind of film. So those videos will be coming out also very very soon. And yeah, that's it for this kind of update video. If you want to pick up one of my street photography scenes, uh, the link will be in the, in the description box down below this video. And also there you will find the link to the new weekly podcast. Alright guys, that's it. Um, yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.